Welcome back you guys to another YouTube video. Now, today we're car spotting in Miami for 24 hours. We're gonna explore the city and try to find as many cars possible today. It's literally about terrain, like, oh my God. We also have an event to go to, so that should be fun. But anyways, I'll see you guys there. All right, you guys, so we are now here. It is uh, the morning, it's like 11 a.m. It's already so hot, but we're here in Miami at a Cars and Coffee event. Check this out, so packed. Let's see what there is here. Look at this Trackhawk, really sick. This thing is actually insane, like look at that. Damn. Supercharger. There's also this wide body Hellcat SRT. Insanely wide. Ford's carbon spoiler, pretty cool. 400Z in this white, haven't seen these in a while. But here we have it. And there's a dark horse here, a new Mustang. Damn, look at this paint in the sunlight. AMG GTS. We also have a Mark IV Supra, classic red color, but insanely nice. Look at that. It's got like a kit on it. Really cool right-hand drive. But look at that. New Lotus here. It's a Lotus Emira. I'm pretty sure it's a six cylinder, but check this out. I mean, it kind of looks pretty cool. But, I don't know, it's rolling right now. Another, we have so many new Mustangs here also. This is a 501. Damn, look at this, we also have a Porsche RWB. This was actually really random. Beautiful color on this, look at this silver color. And it's got like bronze accents, which I love. Damn, look at that roll cage. And this thing is insanely wide, just by the looks of it, look at that. The inside too, really cool. Also, it was signed by the man himself. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but the creator of RWB, based in Japan, a classic R8. This is the V8 version, but also silver color. Damn, an SRT with a parachute in the back, which is insane, bruh. I'm actually in love with this M5. I love how it's so like basic. Oh my god. Look at this. Euro plates. Such a sick car. Blacked out M5. And I'm pretty sure these are rare, but really cool seeing this here. Yup, here's the M5 engine. A V10. Take a look at that. This one is automatic. If it was manual, it would have been so rare. I'm pretty sure there's only like a thousand units or somewhere around there, but still an insane car to see here. MC20 in this matte color. Um, I've seen like a couple of these with the same color and I really love it. And it's got like a blue tone, like a white and blue tone. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's sick. GT350 Shelby also. Okay, I don't know if this is wrapper paint, but I'm telling you this paint in person is just beautiful. It's like blue purple R34 GTR. Damn, these things are so nice. I don't even care if they're overrated. They're so like clean. Look at those rims too. Volk Racing, Baby Blue Lotus, which is pretty cool. It's for sale, but look at that little wing. Okay, this is actually insane. First, look at the tires. That's like slicks, oh my God. And I got a camera right there. Look at this GT4 in black. Um, I'm pretty sure the spoiler is aftermarket, but damn, look at this. The R8 too. Customized exhaust. Look at that carbon diffuser and spoiler. V10. Oh my God. That is a lot of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber hood. Really clean Porsche. White on white rims. We also have some more cars on that side. We'll check that out, but there's also an NSX. And look at these silver wheels. Look at that. I'm actually starting to love JDM more and more. I don't know why though. Manual, of course. Look at this Ruby Star. I'm not too sure if it is, but I think it's a Ruby Star um, pink Porsche. Look at this thing though. Okay, I don't know if this is real or not because I don't think they come in red, but we have an AMG GTR and this would be the one series, but it's red. So I'm assuming it's a fake one. A second Mark IV Supra. 
and this is like a glossy red really cool tan interior this is actually such a clean rs6 build damn i can't tell if it's like black or dark blue i think it's black but look at those rims insanely big the porsche is now leaving but once again this thing looks so nice rims we got this older GT350 Shelby and then this um another NSX okay we got the insane Corvette now driving so we got these two parked up on side this really clean black Ferrari and this E36 in white. It's a little like beat up, but I still really love these Beamers. 308. Mini Cybertruck. That's actually funny. R33 GTR. And this silver color. Some Sylvia's here too. 240SX. So two McLarens pulled up here. I don't know what happened to this 720S. The wing is like completely off. Oh my God, that's kind of bad, but. Orange 720S. The rims are also, they got some orange in it. 570 GT. Look at that spoiler. Look at the size between this Mini Cooper and this Hellcat SRT. It is actually funny. Tiny engine, damn. So we got the pink Porsche now leaving. Once again, beautiful color. Such a nice car. And the G80 is also leaving. So you guys, so we are now at Ball Harbor Shops. It has been a while since I've filmed a YouTube video here, but I'm really excited to see some cars here because I have the whole entire day to check out what's here. I'm not gonna waste any more time and let's see the cars. So far, we have a 911 GTS in red. Really nice spec, red calipers too, Carrera GTS, pretty sure. First car we're seeing at the shops right now. All right guys, so starting off, we have this beautiful green Porsche Dakar. At first I thought it was a GT3, but it's actually a Porsche Dakar. Beautiful spec, I really love this color though. I don't really see these around often, but we have one right here. And beside that we have a Yours Performante. Look at that carbon hood, really sick, yellow calipers. And I love cause the calipers are yellow and the stitching inside is also yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but pretty cool. So this is a matte um, white 488 Ferrari. Just a classic Ferrari here. 458 Ferrari, really nice. And then on this side, we actually have an 812 with some um, add-ons like this stripe there's actually a lot of yellow going on here including the inside of it and this is the super fast version look at that damn that thing is so nice i really love like the yellow parts of this car and look at the rims that's pretty cool so we have another lotus emira here at ball harbor shops this one is green like a dark green and brown interior which is cool and damn they're manual i did not know that yeah v6 like i said um when i was at the cars and coffee earlier today but sick to see also that rolls royce is a specter that's um fully electric and then we got some like family suvs um back there and here okay so we actually have a tesla cybertruck really odd looking but yeah, a fridge driving, which is insane. Uh, the car is now driving. I think the owner is gonna pick it up, but look at that beautiful green. And the Cybertruck is right there. This thing is actually so weird when it's driving. Like, what is this? Oh my God. It is massive though, like, damn. Look at the Urus compared to that huge refrigerator, like, Damn. I mean, 
Not gonna lie, I kinda like the look on it because it's like kind of aggressive. Like look at all the pointy lines, but at the same time, I don't know how I feel about this. So we have a regular G-Wagon right here, but over there we have a Brabus. Check this out. Oh my God, this thing is insane. It's got like full orange interior. Damn, and beside that, Maybach. I'm pretty sure this is a China blue color. Not too sure though. Look at all those orange accents though. Spoiler is even orange. Also an R8 Spider here. Convertible top also, but just a basic black R8. Nothing too special. Take a look at this spec Urus. Oh my God, that is so nice. It's like brown and bronze, a matte color. Really beautiful though. I'm sweating like crazy, but look at this. We have this SF90 with this like two-tone color wrap on it. SF90 and M4 behind that, but that is so sick. It fades into like gold. Look at that. That M4 comp is so beautiful also. I love that color. And we also have a purple Lamborghini Huracan. Damn. That is sick. On this side of Ball Harbor Shops, we have this beautiful Performante. And it looks way better up close. The bronze rims are so sick. And take a look at this Butch Carbon spoiler and the fuser. Also, I'm seeing an aftermarket exhaust. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, look at that. So I'm pretty sure it's not stock. Yeah, that is definitely not stock. Damn. That is loud. So an hour later and we have an F8 now in this really nice white color. Check this out. We have one Urus right there, blacked out, and two more, blue and red. Such a fire duo. Damn. There's actually a lot of cars out here right now. We got this Porsche that we filmed earlier today. So we got a R8 on the other side of the road. Look at that though. It's like built. That spoiler is clean. That is fire. All right, so it is now officially dark at night, but here we have a couple of cars here that are new. This 488 with a lot of cosmetics. Okay, this is with um, flash on, but look at the carbon fiber spoiler, pretty sick. And then on this side, sorry it's dark once again, the lighting is horrible here, but we have this Aventador S in this blue. You can definitely trick someone into thinking this is an SUV from like far away because it does look like it, like look. It's also got color matched calipers, which is really cool. And then on the side, we have a RS6 Avant. Nothing too special, but it's still sick seeing these German wagons. You guys can definitely not see me, so I think I will wrap it up for today. I mean, it was a pretty long day. It was, I think, like 12 hours just like walking. I'm actually so tired, but I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. We did see a lot of cars and we went to that Cars and Coffee, which was sick. But anyways, I'll see you guys in another YouTube video. See ya.